Welcome everyone. My name is Eric Worre and thanks for joining us today for this very special webinar. As some of you probably already know, Sir Richard Branson will be appearing at this year's GoPro Recruiting Mastery event this December in beautiful Las Vegas. Network Marketing Pro's continued journey to change the world and the perception of network marketing has led us to one of the most well-known entrepreneurs ever, Sir Richard Branson. His screw it, let's do it mantra has propelled his Virgin Brands to global recognition. Coupled with his sense of adventure and out of the box thinking, he's become the most iconic entrepreneur of our time. His story is incredible. And I sat down with him recently in preparation for the event where I'll be interviewing him live on stage at GoPro Recruiting Mastery 2016. Sir Richard Branson. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's my pleasure to, uh, to spend a few minutes with you. Um, what do I call you? Sir uh, Ri Richard? Ri Richard, always, Richard is the, what everybody calls me. Uh, Richard's right? what everybody calls yeah. you? Okay. I, I if make you sure. like Sir Richard, we'll do that. I, I like Richard. Sir Richard. Right, I do like Sir Richard. Like. <laughs> I, I was reading in, in your book, The Virgin Way, your mom, the letter that she put in there and talking to you about Ricky, and I cannot even think of you as a Ricky. <laughs> no, uh, no, I think Ricky Ricky's very much a mum a thing. It's a mum yeah. thing, yeah. for sure. Yeah. The only time I ever hear the word Sir Richard is when I'm walking down a street in New York, and suddenly I hear someone saying, Sir Richard, and, and I look, where's the Shakespearean play <laughs> taking place? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, we, we work with a community uh, inside of network marketing that are entrepreneurs, right? They love the idea of being in business for themselves. They feel like in this new economy, it's safer to actually be in business for yourself than being employed by somebody else. Um, they're driven by that. And if there's one person that is iconic for entrepreneurialism, you're, you're, you've got to be the global guy that represents what's possible if you kind of open up your imagination and you work hard. Were you always entrepreneurial? I think so. Um... I mean, I've uh, always loved to um, create things um, uh, from a very young age. I mean, like, I think when I was you know, nine, I was collecting budgerigars and selling, selling them off because they bred very quickly. And then when I was 10, I decided to plant lots of Christmas trees so that when I left school, I'd have lots of money because the, the Christmas trees would all grow. Uh, of course, the rabbits ate them all. Um, but um, yeah, so from quite a young age, I think I had an so entrepreneurial streak in me. When did it turn into success? Depends your definition of success. I mean, um, you know, I, I left school at 15 to start a national magazine to campaign against the Vietnamese War. And that magazine was my education. Um, it was very successful. Um, uh, not financially, but it was very successful in that it had 100,000 people reading it. And it was very successful in educating me. Um, uh, but it was not until the record company that I launched after that that we started getting some financial success, which enabled us then to carry on and do what we've done since. What he's done since is an understatement for financial success. The Virgin Group is comprised of over 400 companies, and his net worth is over $5 billion. The nugget I got from this, though, was his definition of success. The magazine was a success in that he was able to educate himself about being an entrepreneur by developing an audience and making a difference for a cause that was important to him. He may not have made a profit financially, but he profited greatly from learning how to run a business by starting a business. He eventually started a record shop and advertised popular records in the student magazine, which springboarded his record label, Virgin Records, in 1972. In 1984, he started Virgin Atlantic Airways and later sold his record label to help support the airline, and the rest is history. How do entrepreneurs think different than employees? It's fairly radically different, I would say. You know, I mean, you get a blank sheet of canvas. An entrepreneur is like an artist. So, you, you, you know, you get a blank sheet of canvas. Then you're creating uh, something to make a, a positive difference to other people's lives. And, you, and in that blank sheet of canvas, you're filling in all the little details to make sure that what you're, what you're going to do is exceptionally better than what other people are doing. And, and the way you're going to do it is going to be exceptionally better. 
Um, then you, um, you know, as part of that canvas, you need to, you know, get have your people that you're going to have working with you on on this project in in that canvas and make sure that they, you know, they they're completely committed to what, 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 what to the whole picture. And then most importantly of all. Um, uh, you just say screw it, let's do it, and get on and, and start creating. Um, <laughs> and you know you may well fall flat in your face, but then pick yourself up, keep trying until you succeed. It, it sounds a lot like culture, building the culture around your vision. You, know, yeah. you have a vision, and then creating a culture that this is how we're going to do things. This is our standards of excellence. That culture is important. Is it? If you have a team of people who completely believe in your idea and what you want to do, uh, you will succeed. If you have a half-hearted team of people, it's going to be much, much, much tougher. Um, so it's really worthwhile making sure that whatever it is you're doing is as worthwhile as possible. And if it's not worthwhile, it's just a money-making thing, then you know, add something on, a new dimension that maybe is helping you know, make the world a better place, and, and that can motivate all your staff as well. As we continue to talk, I explained that the network marketing community is very passionate about helping the world. They want to create a better life for their families and the same for other people. They want to grow their team and their network of distributors. So they're constantly searching for quality people to prospect. So I asked him, what advice would you have for someone that's looking to expand their influence? With all these companies and employees that you have, what do you look for in a person when hiring? What we look for is people who are great with people. I mean, I think personality is so important. Um, people who genuinely care about people, um, people who praise, don't criticize. Um, you know, the, these are all, all the tributes that are, re are really important. And sometimes people who are, you know, a little bit zany. I mean, you, you, don't, necessarily, you don't want everybody to be, you know, just ordinary nice people. You want one or two people to be a little bit off the wall, which is to throw that throw that into the mix. Is that is that part of your, part of your culture? The the just the, the little bit of a wild streak. <laughs> yes, I mean I think you know like there there are companies that get rid of people who are uh, you know don't fit neatly into the box, um, and often those people could turn out to be the most creative people. Um, you know I remember many many years ago. Um, uh, getting a call from a local record shop and saying that one of my employees was stealing from Virgin and selling their selling our records in the local record shop and and I asked to see him and he, he came back into my office and um, I didn't sack him I just said everybody needs a second chance in life so we'll, we'll, we'll give you a second chance he then became the most loyal employee ever um, he found some of our most successful bands for us um, uh, yes yeah, so George right he found yeah, Boy he found, exactly. He found Boy George, uh, Culture Club, uh, Genesis. Wow. Um, second chances can be good for both people. I think. Yeah. Can you imagine if he didn't give his employee a second chance? And I love his thought on having zany personalities in your organization. How it's good to have a nice mix of personalities, and we don't all have to be the same. When people think about Sir Richard Branson, they think about this adventurer and a man determined to break records and push the boundaries of our accomplishments as a society. From hot air balloons to boats to going up in space commercially, he constantly looks for new challenges. One of my friends, network marketing, uh, one of the top leaders and dear friend of mine, Jordan Adler, he is one of the people signed up for right. to, to go into space uh, with you. He's, he's going through the training Wonderful. right now as the process. Was that a brand building experience? Is that just you know, the way you live your life? Just let's go do the <laughs> wildest things possible? The original adventures, the ballooning, you know, trying to be the first across the Atlantic in a balloon and all the fastest across the Atlantic in a boat, sometimes sinking, whatever, um, was, was <laughs> when we just started Virgin Atlantic, our airline, and we needed to come up with some way of putting it on the map. And, and we had a lot of fun in the, in, in the process in doing so. Um, the space project slightly different. NASA and governments are not interested in you or I going to space. Mm. And we decided to set up a, a space company to, to, to enable hundreds of thousands of people, hopefully, to become astronauts. And it's been tough, but uh, we're getting, I think, close finally. And I think we can transform the lives of a lot of people. And you know, we can also, connecting people are not connected. And um, so anyway, it's a rush, it's fun, it's exciting. and Lots we'll of breakthroughs. See, yeah, and we'll see what we we'll see. Like how you we and your family are going up in the first one, right? We'll be going up in the first one. Wow. Um, but our brave, uh, test pilots will make sure. Sure, of course. <laughs> First. Of course. 
Um, <clears throat> well, the, the, like I, I've talked about this audience, the network marketing community. Uh, there's about 100 million people uh, around the world that are engaged in this. It does approximately $200 billion a year in revenue. It's growing, it's expanding, and these, these home-based entrepreneurs are looking um, for a better life for their families. Do you think it's a good idea for a person to get involved in network marketing and, and yeah, I mean, and, I think I, I, I think um, I mean we were we were involved with network marketing once with a cosmetics company in the UK, and we would have you know a dinner every year um, with all these young young entrepreneurs from all over the country, and they and they it, they were you know sometimes they were a mum you know with children who wanted to make some money on the side, you know, and um, sometimes they were re relying on relying on it completely, um, you know, for their living. And it was tremendous seeing the, you know, the enthusiasm, um, how much it transformed their lives and um, what a difference it made to them. So I'm a tremendous believer in network marketing and I'm a great believer in entrepreneurs. I think, it, it, you know, the all the future jobs in the next 20 or 30 years will, will be created by uh, you know, network market marketing entrepreneurs and other other entrepreneurs around the world um, starting off from scratch or starting off very small and making a real difference in the world. I think your information is really valuable and I'm so looking forward. When we thought mm -hmm. about who to bring in to our GoPro Recruiting Mastery event, December 1st through the 4th, we have Tony Robbins coming in for an entire evening, but the iconic entrepreneur, the guy, mm -hmm. That that it, you know can can offer up ideas, and we're going to be asking the audience for questions mm. that maybe uh, would be appropriate for them to hear your answers to, and we're going to have some time at that event to be able to do it. So I, I look forward to continuing the conversation no. when we get together there. But what advice would you have this this audience? They're hungry, they want it, they want to be go pro, they want to become a professional, they they want to become a successful entrepreneur. You're a, a role model to them. What advice would you have for them? Uh, between now and the time we extend this advice in December, <laughs> right. what advice would you have for them? I think, uh, I'm, I'm sure most of them are already thinking big, but think even bigger. Um, uh, and, you know, set yourself, you know, set yourself a seemingly, you know, uh, a seemingly impossible task um, and then strive strive to get there if you just tumble along you know day after day um oh, that may be that may be good it's not much fun i mean i think you know all of us should be all the time setting ourselves um new, new challenges to try to you know try to try to overcome in the end just get on you know i mean screw it but just do it just get on and do it and um and and you know if you if you're determined enough you'll make your dreams come possible we talked about the the idea of of Successful people like yourself, they say yes first, they tell the world, and then they figure it out. And that's opposite from most people in the world. They just get out there, like you say, screw it, just do it. Your iconic phrase, screw it, just do it. Um, I, I, I think that more people could learn from think bigger, faster, believe bigger, faster. Yeah. It, the belief is such an important thing. Yeah, well, one, one, one thing I use is um, if somebody asks me a question, I'll say yes. Now, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> um, but... Um, yeah, no. I, I, I mean, life's a lot more fun if you say yes than if you say no. I think my my greatest fear in life is saying no to something and regretting it. Um, I've never regretted saying yes to something, even if I've fallen flat on my face. Sir Richard Branson, how great is it that the most iconic entrepreneur in the world is such a big fan of network marketing? I don't know about you, but I can't wait to hear what he has to say at the GoPro Recruiting Mastery event this December in Las Vegas. If you haven't heard about GoPro Recruiting Mastery, it's the largest generic gathering of network marketing professionals in the world. This year, approximately 20,000 people will be attending from all over the world and from virtually every company in the world. Over the course of three full days, people in attendance will hear life-changing ideas and strategies on how to take their businesses to the next level. I'm gonna be training. You're gonna hear from some of the most successful distributors in the world as they share their best practices. You'll see and hear Sir Richard Branson as we continue our conversation on why network marketing is such a great entrepreneurial decision for the average person and how to be a more successful entrepreneur. In addition, the one and only Tony Robbins who's also a huge fan of network marketing, will be spending an entire three plus hour session 
helping you to experience the breakthrough you deserve. Let me hear you. Come on now. There are still seats available, but not many, as it's almost sold out. If you can arrange to attend by yourself or with your team, I would highly recommend it. However, if you or your team can't attend live, I have good news for you. You can get a live streaming ticket, which will allow you to watch it live from home and even have replay access. We have one live streaming ticket available for just Sir Richard Branson and Tony Robbins sessions, and another live streaming ticket that gives you access to the entire event. Whether you're brand new to network marketing and want to start your business right, a high level earner, a corporate executive who wants to sharpen your understanding of what's working for distributors today, GoPro Recruiting Mastery will help you take things to a new level and break out. And as I said before, it's delivered in a completely generic format. No companies or products are ever mentioned, so you'll feel safe to share it with your team. Go to the link provided to learn more about the event and get your live tickets or live streaming tickets. We have some early bird specials for those of you who act fast. And if you're a six-figure earner or above, make sure you check out the special six-figure summit event that will be held two days before GoPro Recruiting Mastery. If you're a six or seven-figure earner, you really can't afford to miss it. So I hope you take advantage of GoPro Recruiting Mastery. And I hope you received value from our special free webinar with Sir Richard Branson. I'm Eric Worre for Network Marketing Pro. Thanks for watching. And ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro, because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now, let's go tell the world.